many blessings that he continue to show on us. Thank God for blessing Brother Williams to make it. He been stranded at the airport back in Philadelphia for hours. But you made it just in time for the work. Amen. To all of my beloved brothers and sisters and friends, and to the enemies that are watching again, you are witnessing the dedication service of our new branch temple here in Atlanta, Georgia. Our address is 52 Fairborn Road, Southwest Atlanta. You're welcome to come and visit here. Our service nights is Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. and Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. And again, Sunday afternoons at 4.30 p.m. Remember the address of the new temple is 52 Fairborn Road, Southwest Atlanta. You're always welcome to come. I want to thank all the brothers and the sisters for their hard work and their consistency, their dedication. You that is in the overflow room and you that is jam packed in that other big tent back there, they told me it's packed back there also. We are thankful for you that came to give Atlanta some support. I'm glad for Elder English and all the ministers that labor along with him here. God truly is manifesting himself. And every place the truth of God goes. Every country, every city, every village, every town where this message have gone, God have truly given us victory for it. And uh, I can never thank God enough for the vision that God gave me over, over 45 years ago now. Before I met any of you. But many of you was in that herd that I tell you about. Amen. I'm witnessing what God showed me many years, and I'm not just witnessing here, but every place that we go. And only them that travel with me can bear witness to be able to go to any city in the world, any country, any state, and watch God live up to what he told us before I was Pastor Jennings, and then showed us the power and the effects of this message. Just two weeks ago, 245 in two days went down in water in the country of Burundi. Just two weeks ago. 245 souls went down in the name of Jesus Christ just in two days in the country of Burundi. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, many of you are new to the faith. And many of you have never been in holiness since you've been born. All of us came out of something. And we have to admit, regardless of where we came from, we did learn something. Some folks say when I was in a false church, I didn't learn nothing. That's not the truth. Because the devil don't tell all lies. The devil tells truth and mix it with lies. So all of us have learned something. When I was in falsehood, I learned something. But when God revealed himself to me, God did that. And when he revealed himself to me, gradually he opened my understanding to the scriptures. 
shown me this work and shown me what it consists of, but did not give me the full understanding of it. I just knew it consists of a whole lot. In the hood, they all called me Nicky, and we all called William Soup. So before I was Pastor Jennings, and before he was Elder Williams, <laughs> all right. Soup and Nick, we would sit out on the steps. In the summertime, I'm 14 and 15, and telling him about today. That's right. Very few people can tell you that God showed them something. And it be true, and you walk in it, talk in it, witness it, unfold right in your eyes. Everyone that I told about this work when I was a kid, because they couldn't see it, it was hard for them to believe it. But that's the only thing that kept me from backsliding as a young man was the vision that God gave me about this work. I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ 52 years ago. <laughs> Amen. I had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue about 46 years now. I've been pastoring 38 years this year. I've been preaching close to 45 years. And I'm only 58. You add those numbers up, I'm over 100. <laughs> the only thing that kept me from backsliding as a kid, I was baptized at 6 and I received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue at 11. The first vision that God gave me about this work, I was about 13. When this stuff started to come to me. When I first heard God's voice, I was about seven. I can read about Samuel and Eli, but that was my first experience. Right. I can not only read about it, I actually experienced it. And my mother home, I was walking, going to the kitchen, and God spoke to me. I didn't know it was God. I thought it was my father, like Samuel thought it was Eli. And he called me by name, Nicky. I stopped at the kitchen doorway, ran back to the step, thought it was my father. I said, you called me? He said, no, I, I didn't call him. I said, all right. I walked back to all the kitchen. Voice was louder than you hear mine. Nicky! I came back from the kitchen, went back to the step. Dad, did you call me? He said, no. I said, all right. I'm mumbling to myself, something wrong with him. I ain't going to tell him that. <laughs> Went back towards the kitchen. Every time I got right up the kitchen doorway, voice called out again, Nicky! I said, look, I know I ain't going crazy. I ran back to the, store, to the uh, staircase again. Daddy, I thought you didn't call me. He said, if you bother me one more time, I'm going to give you a reason to call. They didn't know it was God then. Say, when you are called. When God calls you, that's what he does. He calls you. But when he calls you, he don't send you to later. He calls you, but he'll send you later. That's right. Because they don't need to send nobody. You have to give them a job to do. Right. So you call them and prepare them for the job. So God began to show me this work. And showed me countries that I never traveled to when I was young. Never. And now we're physically going to them. That's right. He showed me Africa. And now I'm in and out the continent. Showed me India. Now we're in and out the continent. 
every country that we have gone, God has never allowed us to meet a failure. That's right. Every city, the numbers are still coming in for 2021 baptism. We had 7,445 for one year. For one year. 7,000. 7,445 souls baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for one year. Amen. We done passed the day of Pentecost. Doubled it. Oh, yes. So any out there that think this is a, uh, a fluke, <laughs> truth of God is the message that God put in the earth. They give all members of the human family a chance, just a chance, to get on God's side and get right with him. It's your choice that God gives. For once in your life to do this thing right. And to make church going worthwhile. That's different because years ago, many were sincere. Many meant what they were doing. But uh, sometimes you don't realize you're wasting religious time until your understanding come open. I had no idea I was, re I was wasting religious time when I was a child. Until God started dealing with me. That's right. When God started dealing with you, then and only then you start to see clearly. While you in junk, you can't see it. No. Because you go along with it, you're jumping and shouting along with it. Until the Lord started dealing with you, you slow down then. And that's what happens. The moment God starts dealing with you, you slow down. He starts shifting gears. Right. You know, you hear a truck driver, you can hear when those shift gears and that thing drop. And that's exactly what happens. That's right. Your church participation in whatever category, that starts to slow down. Because God spiritually starts to heighten your intelligence, the scripture. When your divine intelligence become heightened and you become now with this new spiritual awareness, you start to see things for the first time that you never saw before. Sometimes it can be frightening. When God started dealing with me in falsehood, I remember I told the Williams, we're following a false prophet. Oh, yes. That thing scared him. He said, what? I said, Williams, we're following a false prophet. That's right. He said, what, 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 what? Nikki, Nikki. <laughs> Nick, Nikki, but that's your uncle. I said, my uncle Amen. is a false prophet. Yes, that's right. Yes, sir. And I said, everyone he's leading, he's leading them to hell. Yes. That's right. You know, when God opens your understanding, you have to admit to what you see, even if it hurts your feelings. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I have no confidence in family churches. I desire my whole family to be in church. But family ran churches will run you right to hell. That's right. Because in most cases, the bishop going to have favoritism. And he's going to justify and condone family wrong and make it right. That's why God has to call you. Then fix you. Then at the appointed time, send you. And then when he send you, he'll put his word in you. And then before that, he'll strip all the fear that you have yeah. for anybody. That's right. And take it out. That's right. And replace it so you can just fear him. That's right. Or oh, take God when that happened. He turned you against creation. That's right. 
You can go up against the governments of the world, the religions of the world, the millionaires of the world, and anybody popular, it doesn't matter to you now because only one thing in focus, God himself. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen.